Hi, welcome to Scope Maps primary video on rounding. In this video, we're going to look at how to round numbers to the nearest whole number. During this video, I'm going to be using number lines to help show how to round numbers. Uh, but as you practice more and more, you get to realize you can just round numbers in your head quite easily and quite quickly. So our first question is to round 2.3 to the nearest whole number. The nearest whole numbers to 2.3 are 2 and 3. So they're the whole numbers either side of 2.3. And in the middle of 2 and 3 is 2.5. Okay, so if this is our number line with 2 and 3 and 2.5 in the middle, 2.3 would be over here somewhere because 2.3 is below 2.5. So that means that 2.3 is closer to the number 2 than it is to the number 3. So that means if we've been asked to round 2.3 to the nearest whole number, our answer will be 2. Okay, our next question. Our next question asks us to round 4.8 to the nearest whole number. So the whole number below 4.8 would be 4, and the whole number above 4.8 would be 5. And in the middle, so halfway between, or the midway between 4 and 5, would be 4.5. So if we were to place 4.8 on that number line, it would be up here somewhere, because 4.8 is bigger than 4.5. So that means that 4.8 is closer to the number 5 than it is to the number 4. So if we were asked to round 4.8 to the nearest whole number, our answer would be 5. Right, our next question. Our next question asks us to round 11.4 to the nearest whole number. So the whole number below 11.4 would be 11, and above 11.4 would be 12, and midway between those two numbers would be 11.5. So if we were asked to put 11.4 on the number line, it would be here somewhere, it would be below 11.5. So that means that 11.4 is closer to 11 than it is to 12, so that means if we were asked around 11.4 to the nearest whole number, our answer would be 11. Okay, our next question. Our next question asks us to round 15.6 to the nearest whole number. So the nearest whole number below 15.6 would be 15, and above 15.6 would be 16. And midway between those two numbers would be 15.5. So if we were asked to put 15.6 in this number line, it would be around about here somewhere because it's bigger than 15.5. So that means that 15.6 is closer to 16 than it is to 15. So our answer would be 16. Okay, our next question. Okay, our next question asks us to round 23.5 to the nearest whole number. So the nearest whole number below 23.5 would be 23, and above would be 24, and in the middle is 23.5. So if we're asked to put it on the number line, we put it here exactly in the middle, because 23.5 is in the middle. Now, if I asked you which number is 23.5 closer to, well, it's not closer to either number, but the rule is whenever you're asked to round 23.5, or a number in the middle, whenever you're asked to round that to the nearest whole number, you round up. Okay, so even though it's not necessarily closer to the 24 than 23, it's the rule. So if the number is exactly in the middle, we round up. Okay, so round 23.5 to the nearest whole number, the answer would be 24. So if we're asked to round numbers that are, you know, sort of 7.5 to the nearest whole number, it would be 8, or 9.5 would be 10, and so on. Okay, and our last example. Our last example asks us to round 7.46 to the nearest whole number. So the whole number below it would be 7, and above it would be 8, and in the middle, but in between 7 and 8, is 7.5. Now 7.46, well 7.4 something is going to be below 7.5. So 7.46 would be somewhere around about here on the number line, 7.46. As you can see, because it's below 7.5, that means it's closer to 7 than it is to 8. So our answer will be 7. And that's it.